Psoriasis is a chronic, non-contagious skin condition that is thought to affect as many as 7.5 million Americans. There are five main types of psoriasis. The most common type of psoriasis is plaque psoriasis. This affects about 80% of individuals who have psoriasis, and it appears as patches of red, scaly, flaky spots and larger collections uh, that can appear all over the body but are most commonly found on the elbows, the knees, the lower back, and it can also affect the scalp and even the fingernails. These patches are typically raised and flaky, they can sometimes be itchy, and they are often covered by a thick white scale, so that these patches are what we call plaques, and therefore the name plaque psoriasis. In individuals who have psoriasis on the scalp, the scalp can look like severe dandruff, so it often uh, can, can be confusing when we're trying to diagnose the condition. Individuals with psoriasis can also have their nails affected so that the nails can be discolored, can develop pits, and even can crumble and fall off in severe cases. The second most common type of psoriasis is called guttate psoriasis. Guttate psoriasis is most commonly seen in children and young adults, and it's characterized by a widespread eruption of small pink to red to tan colored bumps that can appear all over the body, but typically on the trunk as well as the extremities, the arms and the legs. It's often brought on by a medical illness such as a strep throat infection or sometimes chicken pox. And unlike other types of psoriasis, guttate psoriasis can often go away on its own and never come back. Less common types of psoriasis include inverse psoriasis, in which individuals get red patches that are in the folds of the skin, so for example, under the arms, in the groin, and sometimes on the insides of the elbows. These areas, unlike plaque psoriasis, tend to be more moist and more red with less scaling. The more serious types of psoriasis include pustular psoriasis, in which a person is covered with pustules or whiteheads, and also erythrodermic psoriasis. These last two types, pustular and erythrodermic psoriasis, can be a medical emergency, so they often require hospitalization and intravenous treatment in the hospital.